y'all welcome to my channel southern angel stamping today i'm doing a fun friday stamping video and the stamp sets we're using today is special someone senior years and well set i'm also going to be using a die set uh called word wishes and I'm going to do a Valentine's card. I haven't done one of those really yet. So let me turn you down to my table and get started with the tutorial. So I've already done some pre-cutting to get ready. Uh, I've already cut out my dies. These were the dies I used. I used Happy Valentine's Day. That was from the Word Wishes. Okay, so I've got those done. And I'm gonna use those right on the front. And I already cut, of course, my cardstock. The cardstock I'm using. I'm using the Blackberry Bliss cardstock and some petal pink. And I just cut a regular um, card base here with the Blackberry Bliss. And then I cut a piece. I cut another regular size and then cut that to go inside. It'll fit inside about like that, but it'll go inside that. So I'm going to set that aside, and then the other half of that piece is what I cut the Valentine's Day out of. And then I'm also going to use it to stamp on. Now the inks I'm using, I'm using the black Tuxedo Black Memento. And I'm going to use some Calypso Coral. And I'll also be using the watercolor pencils to color my little image in. Okay, so the stamps I'm using. I'm using this little image that's from the senior year. I'm using her. And then I'm going to also be using the little balloon. It's a double stamp with this right here, the string from it. And I'll be using Love You. For the inside so let's go ahead and get our stamping done i did add some ink to my stamp pad so hopefully they're nice and juicy How juicy, but I did add a little bit of ink. So I noticed they were drying out. I've got to get some more ink refills. <laughs> Luckily, I had some for this this one here in the memento. All right, so I'm gonna stamp her down and hold it. I'm gonna hold it for a little bit to make sure that ink gets good and down into the paper. I think one of the um, problems too with a lot of stampers, they just want to stamp it down and lift it back up and then that's why your image is not always good and crisp too. So it's always good to just hold it down for a bit and let that ink get down into that paper. Just hold it down. And there we go. That's why sometimes it's good if you don't have a good uh, push. Uh, the Stamparatus is really good for that because if you don't like your image, you don't have enough ink, you think, then the uh, Stamparatus, you can always go back over it 
you know, two, three, four times, however many times you want to get it as the darkest image that you would like. Um, I'm going to set that aside for a minute, let that dry, and we'll move that off. Well, actually, I could have left it on there. Uh, this is the inside. So, I guess I'll do the black. It'll show up better, I think. We're going to stamp. here. Yep, see how much ink was on that? I pushed it too far down in there. Okay, that looks better. Oh, see now I didn't like that. It was crooked. I should go underneath. I'm going to just flip it over and we'll stamp it again. I draw a line up where I can see where to measure it up. I don't usually match those up very well unless I sometimes can put them on a block. But um, yeah, I have a hard time matching them up side to side. My eyes aren't the best, so usually I like to go underneath other boards like this if I want them straight. So that's usually the easiest. Okay, let's do the block. Or the block, I'm sorry, the heart. <laughs> okay. And again, you just want to hold it and make sure that ink adheres down real well. bit. Sometimes it's really good to have a, some cushion under you with these uh, clear stamps. It helps. And I'll we'll do the outline, I guess, in black. This is where a um, Stamparatus would come in handy. You can do it like this. Just gotta get your head right over it so you can see. And my eyes are not the best. I'm gonna give it a try. And just stamp it over. I think I might be outlined, outlined a little bit. That's okay. It still looks real good. Nothing's ever perfect. So don't try and go for perfection. And then we'll stamp the little um, 
balloon string. Now, there we go. Alrighty. Got that. Oh, and you know what? I need to get a scrap of white so that we can do the balloon. Because I want her to hold the balloon. Almost forgot. It'll fit on a bigger piece. I may have to get a bigger piece. Don't know. Let's see. Let's try that piece. Might fit on there better. Putting everything away, and I forgot. She's got to hold the balloon in the front. I keep getting ink on my block. Making a mess today. I got ink all over this block. Goodness. Alrighty. Push that down real good. Hold it for a little bit. That ink gets down in that paper. All righty, got that. And then we'll use the black again. Did before. Let's see. I'm trying to see. Get right over it. Ooh, my hands are shaking. <laughs> Come on now, hand. Cooperate today. Got over it. Hold that down, give it a press. Those two. I think instead of using these, since this is such a small image, I know I've done it before, I'm just going to stick with using these pencils. I like them better on the small images.
looks now. Pretty cute, pretty cute. Let's blend it all in and see how she is looking. Now you want to have your scratch piece of paper. So when you're using this blender pen, you'll see the difference here. See how all this just starts blending in together. And these pens come three to a pack. I like this better than using the watercolor brush. stuff like this. scratch off until it runs clear each time on a scratch piece. There's all of our coloring done. I just need to cut her out and get our card put together. I'll cut that out and the balloon. together. So let's get our bone folder and we'll get our card folded here. And if you haven't yet, please remember to hit that thumbs up button. And if you could share this video, that helps me out a lot. If you're not a subscriber yet, I'd love it if you would please subscribe and click the bell for all notifications.
let's go ahead and we'll glue this down in here first. Let's get this. Uh, we'll use our stamp and seal. And I've lost the lid to mine. I don't know where, where it went, what happened to it. Don't know if it got thrown away or what. I've been looking for it. It's missing something. We should need something more down here. Oh, uh, I think I've lost my eye too. There's the comma. Where did my eye go? Is it over here? Oh heavens, I knew I'd lose that little dot for the eye. While I'm looking for the dot for the eye, before I forget to let y'all know, here is my January host code. So if you wish to purchase any of this uh, supplies that I am using, oh, maybe that's it. I think that's it right there. And remember, we are having. Um, it's Stampin' Up! It's having their celebration going on right now. So I have posted a video about that if you want any more questions about it. So you know, the more you spend, you get free products like uh, $50 or $100 or more. You get, of course, free products from their celebration catalog. And then if you wish to join me through Stampin' Up! and start a team with me, then you get uh, $125 and plus all their designer series paper. And also I am running a special. Let's see if I can find some designer series paper. Uh, I am running a special right now with the paper pumpkin if you wish to order the paper pumpkin for three months and give that a try I will be giving away a free paper pumpkin and you will also qualify for the um, celebration one of the celebration uh, items so there's all that going on if you don't know and um, so I've got videos on about that but if you do have any questions or anything um, please just get in touch with me and I can help you with that or explain it any more to you let's cut a piece of this I think just to kind of ground it down just a little strip I think down here would be nice 
what side I want. But I feel like it needs something. Maybe the wood side. Yeah, we'll do the wood side. I just feel like it needs a little something. Let's see. Sorry about that y'all, uh, had some technical issues with my uh, camera, it had froze up, I did not know, and I had finished the uh, tutorial for y'all. So here is the end of the, uh, the card, hope you enjoy it, and have a blessed day.